Howdy everyone, and today we're taking a look at a lens that's really made a name for itself in the Sony community, the Sony Zeiss FE 55mm f1.8 ZA for Sony's mirrorless E-mount cameras, full frame or APS-C. I've reviewed a number of Zeiss's zoom lenses for Sony E-mount, and I've become accordingly rather suspicious of them. Let's see how this prime lens can perform, and I'll also be taking a quick look at how it compares to two competing lenses, Sony's own 50mm f1.8 FE lens on full frame, and their 50mm f1.8 OSS lens for APS-C cameras. Everyone loves a fast aperture 50mm or 55mm lens. On a full frame camera they give you a nice standard perspective, neither wide angle nor telephoto, and scope for background separation. On APS-C cameras this lens will be the full frame equivalent of about 83mm, so more of a portrait lens with the equivalent depth of field of about f2.8. This lens's maximum aperture of f1.8 is hardly the brightest available on the market, especially considering the lens's very high price of £750 or about $850. US dollars. Also bear in mind that this lens does not have image stabilisation. The first hints to explain this lens's premium price comes when you feel its build quality. It's fantastic. Good looking, metallic and strong, while not weighing too much, just under 300 grams, it feels really nice in your hand. Its only control point is the manual focus ring, which turns extremely smoothly, and the electronic focus system is nice and responsive. The autofocus motor runs silently and only averagely quickly, it worked nice and accurately in my tests though. Video makers should be aware that the lens suffers from some focus breathing, the image zooms in a bit when you focus more closely. It comes with a protective pouch and a deep and high quality hood, which does scratch a bit easily though. The aperture mechanism has 9 straight blades and the filter size is a small 49mm wide. Overall, top marks for build quality. Next, optics. This Zeiss lens seems to be famous for its sharpness, so for the sake of comparison, let's see how it stands up against the Sony 50mm f1.8 FE, a reasonably sharp optic in itself, when used on a full frame camera, my 42 megapixel Sony a7R II. At f1.8, the Zeiss lens's performance is deeply impressive, offering notably more sharpness and contrast. It's the same situation over in the corners. Stock down to f2.8 and the gap widens, the Zeiss lens is really flying now. The Zeiss continues to win at f4 and it's only at f5.6 that the Sony lens finally catches up. Both lenses stay this sharp down to about f11. So even on a demanding 42 megapixel full frame sensor, the Zeiss lens really is just something else. How about on an APS-C camera? Now I'm going to compare the Zeiss lens to Sony's APS-C 50mm lens, the little 50mm f1.8 OSS, which is sharper than the FE lens when used on an APS-C camera. At f1.8, in the middle of the image, the Zeiss lens carries just an edge of extra resolution. In the corners, its advantage is slightly more noticeable but still very small. They look similar at f2.8 and even down to f5.6 they look almost the same. So on a 24 megapixel APS-C camera, the Zeiss lens proves itself extremely sharp, although hardly much more than Sony's image stabilised and far less expensive alternative. Let's see about distortion and vignetting then, on a full frame camera. The lens projects negligible distortion, which is good, vignetting is rather strong though, those corners look rather dark. This is reduced if you stop down to f2.8, and further so at f4. This lens can only focus down to about 50cm, a bit further than average. At f1.8, the close-up image quality is a touch soft, with some colour fringing, it's sharper at f2.8, and at f4 it's quite good again. Let's see how the lens performs against bright lights, it's an impressive show here, minimal flaring and solid contrast very nice. How about coma? At f1.8, bright points of light, especially in the corners on full frame, show a rather huge amount of coma smearing, disappointingly. 
It's improved at f2.8 and under control at f4. I was hoping for a slightly better performance here, frankly. Finally, bokeh. 50mm lenses often struggle with bokeh quality a little bit, but I think we can give the Zeiss lens a clean bill of health here. Autofocus backgrounds always look lovely and smooth, nicer than most other 50mm lenses I've used. One optical problem related to bokeh though is longitudinal chromatic aberration, which is strong with this lens, unfortunately. It's noticeable from f1.8 to f4, yielding green highlighting beyond the plane of focus, and purple behind the plane of focus, as you can see here. So, overall, the Zeiss lens generally kicks 50mm ass, although there are a couple of flies in the ointment. The coma, longitudinal chromatic aberration and vignetting hold the lens back from perfection, but there's simply no arguing with its fantastic sharpness and contrast, beautiful bokeh, and classy build quality. If you own an APS-C camera, then you won't really lose out that much if you choose to get the far less expensive, image-stabilised Sony 50mm f1.8 OSS lens instead. But on full-frame cameras, it really flies, being considerably better than the Sony 50mm f1.8 FE. Whether it's £500 better is up to you, but for those who need the best and are satisfied with a maximum aperture of f1.8, then this lens is for you, and despite its small issues and high price, it just about gets highly recommended.